Welcome back to What's the 4 on 1 where we're talking to the lovely Cindy Rain and now yes. she's talking to us about her writing process and what it is that gets you through Gone. writing. Yeah. It gets you like momentum starts to build. <laughs> yeah. So usually I'll write when something comes up. Um, a lot of my songs have been about relationships gone bad <laughs> <laughs> or situationships gone bad. Situationships is a whole oh, thing. Oh gosh, situationships. Oh. I know about yeah, that. Yeah, they are a hot mess, but they make great songs. <laughs> <laughs> they do. Lots of, lots of emotional, uh, mm -hmm. lots of emotional things to pull from there. Mm -hmm. um, and... I know you also said that you kind of write from, in, in fact, in your own words, you know, writing from the shackles of a painfully complex childhood and what that is. <laughs> I know, right? She's like, hmm. <laughs> So part of my story is that I grew up with very, very low self-esteem. I was bullied a lot in school. Um, for all of middle school, I thought I was ugly. Mm -hmm. Yeah, but I think that's middle school, though. Yeah. <laughs> oh, my gosh. I think that's Me, middle school. I got that they a lot torture too. you in yeah. middle school. Yeah. They should cut that a, They should get rid of middle school. <laughs> I but they know what happened in high school. But there's no place for it. You know what mm -hmm. I'm trying to say? It's just this these awkward years where you're like raging hormones and everybody's mean and evil to, mm -hmm. to each other. And then you have to deal with that and continue with that through life. Right. Yeah. Stuff. Yeah. Right. Exactly. They just just stretch it out. Stretch elementary school to like about seventh grade, mm -hmm. and then pick it up in high school, eighth grade. Leave it, it alone. Was, it would happen in sixth and seventh grade. Then it's gonna happen. That's just the years when it's gonna happen. But at least you're with the kids that you were with when you were a baby, as mm -hmm. opposed to these all these new kids. That's what it is. All the cluster of the new kids trying to fit this puzzle back together mm -hmm. for this little bit of time. I've thought about this. <laughs> <laughs> in depth, I can see. I've I can thought see about you this definitely because like, my daughters had gone through a lot of crazy stuff mm -hmm. in middle school. A lot of middle schoolers try to kill themselves because of this stuff. Oh, of course. Mm -hmm. Of course. Yeah. Bullying in general. general. Yeah. So, so that was bullying. your... Yeah. Mm -hmm. So, you know, when I looked at all of the trends in my relationships in my 20s, I was like, all right, something, something's wrong here. Mm -hmm. And I could trace it back to, you know, the beliefs that I had about myself when I was a kid. Mm -hmm. So... Mm -hmm my wanting to become an artist, it just led me on this journey of, okay, how do I fix my self-esteem? Because this mess, like, I can't take this with me where I Do want I to lie. go. Mm -hmm. Right, mm -hmm. right. And I'll so how'd it. you fix it? Yeah. Like, how's that, how's that, well, I mean, how are you fixing it? Because yes. it's a continuous it's, thing, mm -hmm. right? Because yeah. this, this little oh, ugly, dumb girl comes, always comes back and like, you ain't good enough. <laughs> you gotta get a check. Beep, beep, beep. Yes, okay. I'm, I'm getting her in check right now. Right. Um, but yeah, working with my coach has been very helpful. I've done a lot of body work. I've done. Um, What's body work? Uh, what is body work? So there's like energy healing. There's oh, right. things Reiki, like Reiki. Reiki and things like zero balancing and inner space techniques. Wow, this is this is different. I haven't heard any of this besides <laughs> Reiki. I haven't heard any of this. So I think uh, people balancing? at home are, are probably yeah. like, "What is that? What what is that?" Little bit. Okay, so in a zero balancing session, it's it's kind of like okay. So I'm laying on a on a massage table, and the practitioner is like moving different muscles and moving different parts of my body because apparently like the the mm. trauma gets like stuck uh -huh. in your oh, body yes, and get, get under here yeah under here some people hold it yeah. like where you hold stress mm -hmm. old trauma your body right. keeps reliving it yes yeah. okay yeah. And getting it out. Yeah, getting it out. Girl. And like the fluid in your body gets stuck when, you know, certain traumatic experiences happen. So like it's kind of moving that those things around. Um, mm, okay. I had a, a, I had a session with a, a bioenergetic therapist oh, where we wow. dealt with a lot of wow. the tension that was stuck here for me. Always, and that's why, why your throat, where you sing and all of that. That's but always with black women, I mean, maybe other women too, probably, but always with black women, we are told not to tell stuff, mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. not to talk about what happens in our house. <laughs> of course. So many, Don't tell it, your secrets. So we're verklempt mm -hmm. often, and then and then we lash out, and then, we, <laughs> then we're angry. Uh -huh. Yeah. Yeah. Like, we don't talk about a lot of things that we should talk about. 
Right, exactly. Mm -hmm. And so that's oh, definitely helped you. You are, oh my God, you are enlightening us. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> definitely enlightening me because a lot of this stuff I had not heard and before. And I hope you guys are being enlightened also. Exactly, mm -hmm. exactly. So, so like you were saying, whenever we hold our truth back, it leads to literal tension in these muscles at the base of the tongue. And I found that it was affecting my singing and it was also affecting, like there were times where I would wanna cry and I would wanna release emotion and I would feel like there was a literal frog stuck in my throat and I couldn't wow. get it out. But like wow. doing some of this therapy work has allowed me to just release all of that and it is changing my singing and it is allowing me to just Throw it up. Throw it yeah. all out there and just <laughs> yeah. cry. Like, if you ask me how I'm doing and I'm not doing too well, I will tell you the truth and I just might cry and it's going to be okay. I know, that was what <laughs> in the song. That was in the song. I'm like, oh my God, that, that's what it is. That's a beautiful mm -hmm. thing. That is a beautiful thing. Yeah, so and you just, you're just feeling like freedom. Yes. Right. Yes. I like that, Amika. Like feeling allowing like myself to just feel the full range of my emotions. Because when I allow myself to feel my pain, then it makes the joy real. It's not like... Right. A mask. right. And, then, and then you're like you're you're more creative too when you're feeling the full That's range exactly of your emotions, right? Once you get to once you get to feel it, you get to heal other people because mm -hmm. it's all about the onlooker, right? Mm -hmm. And what they see and how they relate, right? Because it's about your truth. Yes. And truth sees truth. Yeah. So if right. I'm being fake, then no one is gonna resonate with it. But if I'm, you know, putting myself out there and being honest then that's when someone goes, you know, I felt the same thing. Right, right, so exactly. Then, this so, is like, so this is, preach. So, <laughs> then, wait a minute now. so I know that now, cause this seems like a very new you. And so if this is a very new you, tell us about your relationships. Cause that has to change too. Cause once you start doing inner work, you can't deal with the stuff that, that you wasn't before. serving right. you before. So how does that work? Cause that's, that's the difficult part, no? The relationships all fell away. Yeah. <laughs> like yeah. everything that was not serving me or everything that I didn't feel was at- Celebrating you. Or at a- <laughs> Release it, Cindy. <laughs> My standards have gotten a lot higher. I have decided that I want an amazing relationship and I refuse to settle for anything that's Maybe cool. Ho -hum. Like it's, it's okay. Right, no ho hum. Yeah. And for a while I was just like, yeah, this is, this is cool. But you gotta have that relationship with yourself first. That's the yes. thing. Yes. So that amazing has to come from within. Mm -hmm. I'm working on it. Yeah. Right now. The nicer you treat yourself, <laughs> yeah. you know, those inner talks, mm -hmm. it has to be more like, you got this. I like this. This is chocolate. So that was how be I nice talk to yourself. That's be nice to yourself. Like, Get up there, short. Now I'm gonna oh, relax. You're being abusive, Nika. <laughs> that <laughs> was literally me a couple of weeks ago. I did a Facebook Live and I uh, played classical piano from memory for the first time since college. And usually, if I'm playing classical piano or anything musical, like I'll always harp on the mistakes and be like, mm, "You messed up. Yeah, you messed up again." But during this like five minute piece, I was literally like. Giving myself a pep talk, like it's okay, Cindy. You can do it. <laughs> and you just have to say that. it's all right. That's yeah. sweet to yourself. You have right. to treat yourself mm -hmm. like white people treat beautiful white children. <laughs> it's just like, oh, Nika, you are. So <laughs> you know, it's oh, like you okay. What else do you want to do now? What What else are you like? It, it, it has to. It, it's gonna feel inauthentic until mm. it's right. Mm. They know a lot. I'm telling you, they study. Culture. That's what they do. All right. They can colonize it. But I'm just saying. Yeah. Follow. Okay. So, <laughs> I don't know why I did that. I'm sorry, guys. We, <laughs> we are going to be right back in part three <laughs> of our interview with Cindy Rain. We're going to be talking about bringing it right back to music. Keep it locked. <laughs> 